Kenya Airways Flight 003 from JKF Airport in New York City touched down at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi this morning to mark the first successful round trip of the airline's non-stop flights to the USA. Faisal Ahmed with the details. The return flight of Kenya Airways Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner landed this morning, completing the first round trip of the debuted Nairobi-New York City route. The plane touched down at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport at around 9.15 a.m. this morning with Deputy President William Ruto at hand to welcome the plane. <laughs> Ruto affirmed that the new route will spur Kenya's foreign direct investment opportunities. In today's global economy, the reduction of flight time by about 10 hours is a game changer. It changes tourism, it changes trade, and it changes the whole aviation industry. Until now, US-bound Kenyan travelers have had to use connecting flights through European and Middle Eastern airports and vice versa, a journey that took more than 24 hours. This now reduced to a 15-hour journey eastbound and 14 hours westbound, cutting off the journey by about eight hours. Just opening up the New York route for Kenya Airways marks, is a, marks the turnaround in Kenya's future, in Kenya Airways' future. This is a great symbol of our coming back from where we were before and returning the pride to the pride of Africa. Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma, U.S. Ambassador Robert Godek, KQ Chief Executive Sebastian Mikos were among the 234 passengers who took off Sunday night. The launch of the direct flights is expected to attract more U.S. corporations into the Kenyan market to add on to the 40 that have already set base in Nairobi as their Africa headquarters. The direct flight is also expected to increase tourism traffic to Kenya with the government projecting that it will bring more corporate and high-end tourists. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen Television.